gang, it's me, Natalie Diaz of Twiniversity. This is now our official. We had a few uh, trials before, but this is officially our live feed. We're coming to you today because it is officially Baby Safety Month. If you are not aware that it is Baby Safety Month, um, we're gonna talk about what that means, why it's important to you, and why it's even more important when it comes to having twins. So we're speaking with Lisa Trophy today, who is the managing director of the JPMA. So we're just going to wait for her to join us. And she's going to give us all the scoop on what Baby Safety Month is, why it matters to us. And it's just, we're going to have a whole conversation. First and foremost, I would love to know, you know, where you guys are from and how old your 20s are, because maybe we'll be able to kind of customize this conversation a little bit more based on how old your 20s are. So let's start there. Okay, so I'm still waiting for Lisa to join us. I do not see her yet. I will see her. Good morning. Uh, Lisa, if you have joined us yet so far, um, could you just write a little comment and say like, hi everybody, so then I could find you and then it would be easier perhaps for me to add you. Um, yeah, Marnie, I was sad to miss the JPMA too. So guys, if you don't know what the JPMA is, it is the Juvenile Products Manufacturers Association. Okay, Lisa, I see you now. Let's see if I could find you here. And let's say, um, Lisa, you could also request to join our broadcast. So see if you are able to do that. So if you are like, I wanna join the broadcast, I just enabled that. Um, Kristen has four-year-old twins from Boston. I, I love that everybody is putting in all of their information. Oh my gosh, Denise is from Guatemala and her twins are nine. This is, so you know what's interesting? You still have to worry about child safety when it comes to even nine-year-olds. And you're like, but they're nine. Why do I have to worry? I'm telling you right now, you, you really, really do have to worry. Oh, this is so great. We have people from Texas, the UK, Guatemala. What are an unbelievable, how lucky are we? I mean, seriously, this is, this is really, really unbelievable. And also don't forget guys, we, well, I didn't tell you yet, but we're going to have prizes for you today as well, because what is a Twiniversity live feed without some prizes? Because we believe in giving you a spoonful of sugar with um, your, with the information that we're giving you. Hold on, I'm gonna to try to find Lisa again because you guys are gonna go absolutely crazy and you are gonna love her. Well, I don't know if you're gonna go crazy, but she is a such a wealth of information and she's the one who's gonna kind of give us the schooling today on things. Okay, so we're still looking. Everybody, I appreciate your patience. It is always, uh, it's always tough, right? to do these live feeds, but we are going to do it. It's funny because I could add so many of you. Allow your guests to request to join in this broadcast. So I don't know, Lisa, if you've done that yet, but look at the bottom of your screen and see if you could um, do that. And you know what's really cool too about this? Like now that I'm learning that Facebook with its 19 apps that we get to use as a creator, uh, I could invite you guys to join our live feeds a little bit more, which would be really, really, really cool. Um, so anyway, we're talking with the JPMA today, which is the Juvenile Products Manufacturers Association. They are, to me, like the grandfathers or grandmothers. I always say grandmothers because I feel that they're a little bit more nurturing. They are kind of the, the grandparent of the baby industry. So they are, if you were buying a crib or if you're buying a mattress or if you're buying a stroller, you would be able to look for a little seal that says JPMA and it know, like by seeing that seal, you know that it went through an extra process. Oh my gosh, the JPMA is actually here with us today, which is so fantastic. So yeah, so we're still trying to figure out how to get Lisa to join us. We're not gonna stop this conversation. I am too excited. Have any of you right now, if you have a story that you are willing to share with us, um, Julie wants to be in our video. So should we let Julie in our video? And maybe, Julie, you could also text me tool too, because I don't know how many people I could add in my video. 
But yeah, um, Marnie just said she's looking at her play yard now. Always look at your play yards and or your play yards or your strollers or whatever and make sure that they do have that JPMA seal. So the JPMA seal means that it's gone through kind of a, an extra set of eyes. And the JPMA, not only does the JPMA help us make sure that our baby products are safer, the JPMA also is one of our biggest advocates in the United States, making sure that products are safe for kids. So if there was ever something that, you know, a new fabric that was dangerous for children, or there was a new, you know, way that they were folding strollers, it's the JPMA that's going to help that company figure out um, how to make it safer, right? That's like one thing because it's got to go through that. But then also they advocate in Washington to make sure, oop, I'm sorry, that uh, they advocate for us in Washington. Okay, so it says, Julie, Jewel, I'm adding you to the live feed right now. I exactly what is uh, going on. It says Julie's connecting. Hey, Nat. Hi. How's it going? I can't hear you. I'm going to try. Nah. I don't know. The sound is not coming through my phone. Don't you guys love, like, you don't get to see this on CBS and NBC when there is, like, behind-the-scenes drama. It's never good. So now you get to see the behind-the-scenes drama of getting people. Um... Lisa, it says you um, declined my invitation. I'm adding you again. Don't, I don't want you to decline me. I thought you loved us. I know you love us. I just know that this is technical. <gasps> Finally, it's happening. Look at this. Hey, Nat. Oh, my gosh. First of all, where are the dogs? Are they put away? They are, are, are they safe good? and sound. Safe and sound and quiet and out of the way. Happy Baby Safety Month. I'm so excited. Safety Month is right. You know, Lisa, it's so funny that people don't even know that there is a Baby Safety Month. Where I feel like it's good that we do this, but we here at Twiniversity, and you know this probably most every month, is Baby Safety Month oh, for yeah. us? Absolutely. When they say like double trouble, uh, honestly, when it comes to safety, it really is double trouble. So thank you first and foremost for joining yeah. us, for helping us kind of navigate the correct way to make our homes as safe as possible. First of all, everybody say hi to Lisa. She is the managing director of the JPMA, and whenever Twiniversity has questions, which is true, we always go to the JPMA team. We recently had a question that we noticed that, like, crib tents were coming back. And initially, we, like, we immediately messaged you guys and said, do you know what's happening? Are these back? Are they black market? Are they coming from overseas? Are they allowed to so amazing because within moments you message us back and say okay nat here's the official scoop so to me what the jpma does is it gives me a level of security knowing that when i have a question as a parenting professional and when our uh, moms and dads have questions you guys are always there for us when it comes to safety so thank you so much I, I don't think that people know you guys enough. And you know I'm always on the JPMA soapbox from like the dawn of time. <laughs> part of my life. Because I know that if I see that seal, I feel safe recommending it to families. So how did you get involved in the JPMA? And, and give us a little background about you and about Baby Safety Month and how it came to be. 
Sure, of course. Well, thank you for having me. We're so excited to be here. And, you know, we love Twiniversity and, you know, all of your fans and all of your viewers, we're here for you too. So it's not just Nat that can call us and ask us questions. All of you can reach out at any time and we're happy to help you how we can. I've been with JPMA for almost 10 years now, and I have been working very closely in the standard setting process for all the baby products that, that you see out there available today. And so what that means is really that, you know, we work very hard to understand how products work, how parents are using them, how babies and small children interact with them, and do the very, very best we can throughout that process to make sure they are safe and that they will hold up to the test of time. And especially with, with all of you, my friends here today, you know, you have two babies at a time and those products take a little bit more abuse, don't they? So we wanna make sure those products are the absolute safest. And thanks for mentioning our certification program. You know, you can always look for the JPMA seal on a product and know that it has been tested to the most stringent safety standards. So JPMA is here for you first and foremost. We are the voice of quality and safety for baby products in the United States. And Baby Safety Month is one of our marquee programs. It's almost 40 years old now. Do you believe that, Nat? 40 years old. Honestly, and I feel like it's become a lot more uh, prevalent in maybe the past like six years or seven years. Um, I know I'm around for 10 years in this university. And when, my, honestly, Lisa, what's really nuts to me is that when I was expecting, you know, you had the certification process and there was the JP. And I did notice kind of accidentally that some products had that, some products did, did it, but I was so busy trying to figure out, you know, everything that I needed for the kids, how to keep myself healthy, that I never really paid attention to why I even cared about that. That's the God's honest truth. And so for us here at Twin University, I'm always like, look for it, because if when in doubt, if you see that seal, you know you're cool. And it's not only the high price point, it's you wow. literally these from, you know, a very, very, very affordable brands two brands in the upper echelons of your baby gear. You guys are, are so amazing. And that certification process is something that means a lot to me now that I know what it is, but sure. not what it is. It's just its own thing. But back to Baby Safety Month. With the Baby Safety Month for 40 years, I can't even believe it. I, for me, I know there, there are people that are watching aren't gonna care. I wanna know like the history of it. I'm always fascinated to be like, what was the spark? You know, what was the spark that you were going to be like, okay, this is what we're doing. So fast forward 40 years, I imagine that spark is still the same. Absolutely. This is really all about making sure that we help parents understand how to safely use products, how to choose and use the right products for your families, for your unique needs of the children in your home, and really how to understand the ages and stages of the children so that we can use the right products for the right time. So all of those things are really, really important. And every September, we try to reach out to as many families as we can you know, get in front of to share that information and to make sure that families really do understand um, everything they need to know to keep babies safe because it's a hard job. It's a hard job and we wanna make it easier. So that's why we're here and that's what we do every September, but all year long. Oh, now today we're specifically talking about furniture tip over. Yeah. Now, um, this is when we, you know, we teach to university classes for expectant families and I, it's actually part of our curriculum that we say like, while you're putting your cribs together, while you're putting everything together and the drills are out and the tools are out, everything needs to be anchored. Now here, my question, okay? I know that recently in the news that there was a story about a family who did anchor their furniture and it still collapsed. What, you know, and this is where I think kind of the JPMA seal needs to come in because I know that it was, and I'm not speaking out of turn, it was an Ikea piece of furniture and the, the material that it was made of probably wasn't even capable of holding the strength of, you know, of, of that bracket that was there. 
So even before we worry about furniture tip over, I think it's important that families know you need to buy correct baby furniture and you can't buy something that you would buy for your first apartment outside of college. You need to buy, you know, a little bit more of a substantial piece of furniture so it can be bracketed correctly. Now, as far as you guys, you have like this is JPMA say by month two, everything needs to be done. Like, is there an official stance on bracketing furniture or where, when do you recommend that people start paying attention once they've purchased quality furniture? Absolutely. So great points all around. And our mantra is really start early and do it often because those little ones grow so quick and get into things before we even think that they're ready. So it's important before baby even comes home, before babies come home from the hospital, make sure the home is ready. Start early, do it often. So once you areas, whatever the case is, it all has to be anchored appropriately. And so it's really important to follow the manufacturer instructions on both the furniture and on the, the items that are being used to anchor it. Yeah. Now, Lisa, we are very lucky and you guys were so generous to give away, to have us give away some prizes today. And if that's okay, I would like to give away. Now, speaking of furniture tip over, one of the companies that's kind of newer to the market, but one of the ones that's dearest to my heart is Kudos, which is Q-D-O-S, because of course, everybody spell it with a K, but it is Q-D-O-S, and they make a zero-screw furniture anti-tip kit. Now, this the, the thing that I love is that even if you are like, I am not Tim the Toolman Taylor, <laughs> I could still do this, and I have watched you know, Luann demonstrate this, uh, the, the screw, the zero screw furniture anti-tip kit a million times at trade shows when, you know, when people were allowed to uh, shake hands and be together, of course. But it, it's a fascinating thing to me because there's this, this patent pending zero screw, so you don't need any tools. So when people say, you know what, it's too difficult to you know do an anti-tip kit or it's too difficult honestly it's not it really isn't and maybe you're looking at the wrong pieces of of safety equipment because there are things for you the novice you know home improvement person it's really important to know that companies like kudos exist so we're going to give away that right now and Julie is on with us too. So Jules gonna text me what our winner's name is. But Lisa, the way that we usually do things here is we have people say something in order to win. Just because if somebody has 15 year old twins and they don't want to necessarily win the anti-tip kit, we wanna make sure that the people who really wanna win this um, get it. So what you have to just say is, hey kudos, because I wanna make sure you're spelling it right. That this is gonna be <laughs> my mind memory game for later, we may be giving away more kudos stuff, but just say, hey, kudos, which is Q-D-O-S. I wanna make sure it is in your brain. So they're gonna say that, and we're gonna kind of continue our conversation. Now, besides, you know, the dresser, what else should we really be anchoring? And do we go super nuts and anchor the whole house? Or do we try to make zones for the babies? Like in your personal, professional opinion. What do you think that we should do? Well, you know, an interesting statistic is that every 43 minutes in the United States, a child is injured by a falling piece of furniture or a television. Every 43 minutes. So yes, go crazy. Anchor everything because we know that, again, our kids move so quick. They grow so fast. You turn your back for one second and they're on the other side of the room. Go crazy, anchor everything. And like you said, Nat, there's so many products out there. You don't have to be 
an engineer to figure out how to anchor your furniture. And there's so many options. The, the kit you're giving away right now from Kudos is um, no screw, right? So if you're renting or if you have uh, a new paint job that you don't want to impact, there's options that you can take advantage of to make sure your home is safe. So absolutely everything that has potential to tip especially when uh, you know a child may climb on it, um, needs to be anchored. Televisions, yes, too. <laughs> Televisions need to be anchored as well. If they're not mounted on the wall, they need to be anchored to the piece of furniture that they're sitting on as well. So everything, do it early, do it often, and make sure you're using the right products for the right applications. So super important. Yes, yes, absolutely yes. On that is, on that note, so many people just buy kind of a generic kit and they're like, you know what? I'm going to use this um, kitchen cabinet closure to lock the stove, or I'm going to use yeah. this toilet bowl closure for the refrigerator. Baby safety equipment is not one size fits all at all. You have to buy the appropriate tool for the appropriate job, right? You're not going to you know, buy a bicycle to take your four kids to school each day. You have to really pay attention to what you're trying to achieve and the safety aspect that you want to achieve and making sure that you are getting the appropriate um, tool. You know, Lisa, we actually are in development, don't tell anybody, of an entire baby safety course at Twin University. I don't know if you know this, like you really don't even know this. So this is news and this is kind of a, where we're, it hasn't launched yet, but we are incorporating a significant amount of baby proofing. And we go through kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, living rooms, staircases, and we're covering everything because, you know, that 43 minutes is, is absolutely ridiculous for things that could be preventable. And so if there's one thing that we could do at Twiniversity, and you know we're always the biggest advocates of education and getting things done right, and we have a saying that why is everybody reinventing the parenting wheel? We're in the process of doing this, and even in development of those classes, there were so many new things that I learned by doing further research. And Julie really, so our, our Julie on our team went through her whole house and Lisa, she even went as far as to drew, draw a map of how the twins should leave their room, God forbid of a fire. Amazing, amazing. Like there's, and then there's people, so you have people like Julie that are drawing maps and then you have <laughs> other people that are like, I'm too busy to do this and then become that 43 minute statistic. And you know what's happened within our group because you don't have one kid climbing a dresser you have these kids, they're, they're, they're like a wild pack of peccaries and they're <laughs> in a bedroom and you have two climbing up that dresser. So going through everything and anchoring everything, um, what are some of the other things that we should be looking at as far as baby safety in our homes today that perhaps we're, we're overlooking right now? Yeah, another really super easy thing to do, especially with your twins who are probably working together to be sneaky and get into things that they're not supposed to, am I right? Don't tempt them with fun, colorful toys on top of the dresser or on top of the bookcase. Make sure that all of those kinds of temptations are just not there. So there's no reason for them to look to climb up, you know, whatever that piece of furniture might be. So that's a really easy way to make sure that we're a little bit safer um, and, you know, we're anchoring it, but, but take the temptation away. And certainly, you know, uh, Baby, baby proofing your home, again, we're starting early, we're doing it often. Um, I love the technique of getting down on the floor. Mom and dad, get down on the floor and see what babies are seeing and make sure that you're at that eye level to see what they see and, and figure out, you know, what are they going to get into and make sure we're, you know, taking care of the outlets, of course. We're locking our cabinets, our stoves, our appliances. We're making sure all of our cleaning supplies are locked up and are nowhere, you know, available to the children. We're using gates at the top and bottom of every stairway. And we're using the right gate. You know, there's different gates for different purposes, again. So we're making sure we're using the right ones. Um, 
And, you know, again, do it early, do it often. And if you have questions, maybe your your anti-tip kit doesn't work the way you you thought so. I saw Brianne had a comment that, you know, she couldn't get it to work quite right. Call customer service, call JPMA. We will answer your questions. We will help you through it. We want to make sure your babies are safe. So never hesitate to ask those questions. We are here for you all the time. People are so hesitant to just call a number. <laughs> I just, I was speaking to a mother yesterday who um, I, I did a virtual car seat inspection for her. So she's 36 weeks pregnant. I'm like, just call me. I'll try my best. And so we, you know, we go through everything. They actually did a really good job. I was really impressed. But she said that she called to university the first time. She was shocked that I answered. <laughs> people think that when you're calling a phone number that you're getting like a nameless corporation and it's going to be like you know university how may i direct your call literally i know that i answer all to university calls i know that kudos has exceptional customer service i know that you guys have unbelievable responsiveness i don't understand why people are so apprehensive to just ask a question so yeah. when out double check triple check, quadruple check. And another thing that came up with you said before about renters, renters are so hesitant to, to go put things in the wall. Guys, you have to keep your kids safe. Renters are no renters. A little spackle makes that whole thing in two seconds. And you could get a jar of spackle for like $2.30 at Walmart. Or you could honestly use toothpaste. I'm just telling you here first. <laughs> don't know what you're doing but yeah just a little white toothpaste nobody knows nothing so you <laughs> can have to do this regardless of what you know if your your landlord is like you know we don't want any permanent you know marks in the wall it doesn't matter and you know also your landlord has to put bars on your windows if your children if you have children and you live in a high-rise apartment or on the second floor or third floor they may have some legal responsibility if it's not in your specific lease saying that you have to provide that, they have to provide that. So know that not only do you have to worry about the inside structure of your home, but you do need to think about windows. So windows are also an important one. A good news, Candace won our kudos prize, which is really, really exciting. <laughs> that it's time we give away another prize, Lisa. What do you think? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so now this one is really cool. This one is a $25 gift certificate to Walmart, who is a Baby Safety Month partner, which I think is, is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So you could use this gift card to buy anything from furniture kits to literal you know, uh, diapers. We do not care what you use this for. Of course, we're hoping that if, you know, um, finances are an issue that's preventing you from getting the proper safety equipment. Walmart has an unbelievable line of baby in every store at walmart.com. You could find this. So we are giving away a $25 Walmart gift card. Uh, Lisa, do you think, do you want to come up with our that they have to say in order to be eligible to win? Let's say thank you, Walmart, because we're so happy they're supporting Baby Safety Month. Thank you, Walmart. I think it's wonderful. So yeah, so just say thank you, Walmart, and you will have an opportunity to win the $25 gift card. I am probably impressed with the safety factors that Walmart has taken thanks to COVID. They were one of the first stores that I visited. I was super, super, super duper nervous about going to a real person store, but was really impressed with their, of course, their masking requirements way before many states were requiring that with the, their, just their lanes. Like in Walmart, you can't just walk up and down lanes. You have to follow the little arrows. And so it's become, uh, I'm definitely shopping there more than I have ever been in my life thanks so much <laughs> from guinea pig bedding to baby safety equipment <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm really happy that they decided to partner with you um who were some of the other partners that you've partnered with baby safety month you know we have 
a huge number of JPMA member companies, JPMA brands, all of the names that you know and love and are using in your homes who are serving as Baby Safety Month ambassadors. So please, I want everyone to go check out babysafetymonth.org and, and see who all of those brands are that are really, you know, going the extra mile for baby safety. Um, again, not just in September all the time, but who are really working hard to get those safety messages out there today. And, you know, babysafetymonth.org has a ton of great tips and tricks and resources and all sorts of great information that I would encourage everyone to go take a peek there. Oh, we definitely, definitely will. I actually went already and saw who was on there and was very excited that you actually have so many partners. Um, so Brianne is the winner of our gift card, which is pretty, pretty exciting. So congratulations to Brianne. Everybody say congratulations Thank to Brianne. Send us a direct message and we will get that all worked out to you. So now, Lisa, how did you get involved in this? And like when you were a little girl, did you say, I really want to make sure that all babies are safe all over the country? How did you get involved? You know, my background is in nonprofit management. So I've worked for associations for a really long time. And when I started my family, it really occurred to me how important it is to make sure our babies are safe. And I thought, what better way to do that, not just for myself and my own research and my own family, but really to get involved with an organization that cares about doing that for everyone. And so, you know, I I found JPMA and I feel like I found my forever home. The work we do is so important and we're so grateful for partners like you, Nat, and Twiniversity that we can share this really important information. And this is a passionate industry. Our member companies, the brands, again, that, that all of you know and love, they care as much as you do about your babies. And they really are out there making sure that their products are the safest they can possibly be. And so it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place to be. And, you know, we work hard every day to make sure that we're keeping babies safe. It's, it's interesting because there's a, there's a saying that comes to mind that you are the company you keep. Mm -hmm. And I find that the JPMA member brands, when, you know, we work, we work with a lot of your but even for the, the, the companies that we don't kind of officially work with on a marketing capacity, when, dis, when having discussions at, you know, our previous trade shows or if they're developing a twin product, it is no surprise to me that the people that are more concerned about getting like real feedback on a product, instead of just saying that there's one man sitting in an office engineering a stroller and saying, this is everybody's going to love, we get so many calls from JPMA members that say, Nat, we're developing a new twin stroller. We're developing a new twin product. What do you think about this? How do you think your community would respond? It's fascinating to me. And I'm not saying that, you know, the, the companies that care the most are JPMA members, but I am saying that it, it kind of feels like that. And it's, it's an honor. And I know that I've been, you know, invited to some of kind of your closed door meetings and I've been, you know, able to give feedback on not only from you know, kind of an educator's perspective of things, from a twin mom perspective of things. You guys are always so unbelievably receptive and I'm very appreciative that your organization in general exists. And I hope that those of you that are watching you right there, I'm looking at you, you're starting to pay attention to that JPMA logo when you are buying products. It's, it's important that you're looking for that. And if you're choosing between two products and both the same price point and they're both, you know, you're like, eh, which it doesn't matter. I would always choose the one that has that JPMA seal on it. That's, that's really the truth. And that goes to when I'm buying gifts for other people because I'm, I'm not, you know, buying any at this time but I still have wonderful friends that are having babies and stuff and when I'm buying products to give as gifts I'm still Lisa I love you so much you guys are so important to me we have one more prize to and this one is going to be a combo prize are you ready I hope you remember what we're giving away and if you don't because a lot of times people on the back end give me the prizes and the person I'm speaking to has no idea 
what it is. So what we're giving away this time is we're giving away a, a prize pack of one $25 Walmart gift card, okay? And we're also giving away another set of a Kudos product. And this particular one is a two-in-one anti-tip TV strap. So going back to you talking about TVs, we all have televisions in our home. I mean, maybe I've met one or two people in my entire 210 years that I have been on this planet that has not had a TV. You do need that specific product for that specific safety installation. So Kudos makes a two-in-one anti-TV strap. It is minimal holes in the wall. It can withstand over 200 pounds which is just unbelievable. So if you would like to win, just say, thank you, JPMA. So we thanked Walmart, we had to sell kudos, but honestly, if we're gonna go back to, to basics, we really need to thank the JPMA, not only for Lisa taking the time out of her busy day to talk to us today, but for always being the voice of safety in our community when you're not thinking about it, they are. And so you need to really remember that. Lisa, anything else that we should know about any other events that are coming up in Baby Safety Month? Like, you know, do you have stuff going on your Facebook page? Do you have, you know, other other things that are going on? What else is going on this month for Baby Yes, well, visit us again, babysafetymonth.org. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. It's at JPMA Parents, so find us there. We are giving away prizes all month long on our social channels, so make sure you check us out and follow us for great tips and some prizes. And, you know, the third week of September is Child Passenger Safety Week. So that week is all focused on your babies and their car seats and how to make sure we're choosing and using the right car seat as well as installing it correctly and making sure we're using it safely every time. So definitely follow us on social and check out babysafetymonth.org. You can get all the details and, and figure out how to find us in all the places that will be um, virtually, of course, for the rest of this month. So it has been so fun hanging out with you, Matt. Thank you for introducing me to all of your friends and your community and Remember JPMA, call us anytime. We are here for you. Oh, I love you guys so much. So yeah, we have that one final prize. And then also as a little surprise for you guys, for those of you that are either watching now or perhaps watching this later time, because we get, at least I don't know if you know, like we have people now, but people will watch this for the next week. We want to make sure that you also get in on the action. So what we're doing is we have one more $25 Walmart gift card who is a Baby Safety Month partner, and we will be giving that away all along. So we're going to put in a Google form, and you could go and you could enter because we don't want people, like if you were sleeping or perhaps you were doing something called working, because I know that some of us have that, we don't want you guys to miss out on the prizes. So we're going to put in a, a Google link or a Google form. Just go in and enter. You have time to enter we'll choose a winner sometime you know in baby safety month but we want to make sure that everybody gets in on the action everybody gets a little bit of love from the baby safety month partner walmart and uh yeah and guys tiffany won tiffany congratulations on winning the kudos on anti-tip tv straps and walmart gift card so yeah we got a lot of prizes you guys were so generous with us thanks again lisa i really appreciate it pleasure all right, guys, so you know, go over to the JPMA website, follow them on social. It doesn't end here. While our live feed is ending here, there is a lot more coming up from you. So make sure that you are following them. We're going to put the links below. So if you didn't have time to kind of connect all the dots and write everything down, we got you covered. All right, Lisa, we got to go back to reality. And you got to go let, literally let the dogs out. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. Happy Baby Safety Month. Got it. Happy Baby Safety Month. Bye, guys. Bye, friends.